All right, hello everyone, and this is why Forza Horizon 5 is my most anticipated game of the year. I actually believe you're not generally play a lot of older games. You're not gonna believe this in 2020, while well, we all spent it locked up, I actually spent most of the time playing Knights of the Old Republic, like a 20 year old game. But hey, I got it for $5, so hey, I think I got a pretty good deal. And I poured like 30 hours into it, but yeah. I play a lot of older games, generally don't play a whole lot of the newer games. But this is the year where two massive ones are about to hit. And of course, the big one that everybody's excited about is Halo Infinite, the conclusion to the Halo, to the multi-billion dollar series. Can you believe that a game series is multi-billion? They've announced this will be the last game, but it's supposed to be an amazing one, and I'm, looking for, I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. But I'm most excited about Forza Horizon 5, and I'll tell you why. I've been playing the Forza series for years now, and I played the Motorsport, I played Motorsport, I played it all the way going back to Motorsport 4. <laughs> Everybody remembers that. That was a great release. Um, I loved the pairing with the Top Gear crew and everything. It was, it was a blast. But then Forza Horizon came out, and I think, yeah, I think it actually came out in 2011. So this is like 10 year anniversary, five games. And what I loved about Forza Horizon is it managed to do something I've never seen in a racing game since or after. Even 10 years later, I still have not seen a racing game that could quite do what the Horizon game did for me. And to me, it captured the thrill of racing, both off-road and street racing. It managed to capture that in a way that no other game ever has. You know, it's a blast to watch the race scenes from the Fast and Furious series, and then you go play something like Need for Speed, and it almost just doesn't, it almost feels kind of disappointing, you know? But Forza Horizon was the first game and the only game I've ever managed to play that made me feel like I'm in a Fast and Furious movie. It was, I, I just can't describe it. I love the open world concept. In each game, you get a, a different area of the world to explore. There was Colorado, there was Italy, there was Australia, and then lastly, there was, in the last game, there's the UK, and the next one's supposed to be Mexico. I loved the exploration. I loved, loved the cars. Like, did anybody love how in the first Forza Horizon you picked either the Mitsubishi Evolution, Lancer Evolution, or the Subaru WRX STI, like two long time rivals. I love that they, they, they knew rally culture like that because th that those cars made their name in that. Anyway, I loved it at the time and I played every iteration and I saw the trailer for Forza Horizon 5, which is a big surprise because it may, Microsoft made it out like uh, Horizon 4 would be the last one. And now we get the fifth one, and I love the tagline where the festival never ends. It's supposed to be the biggest map yet, so it's supposed to be absolutely massive. The customization is supposed to be fantastic. You're supposed to be able to customize your car any way you want, in a way that hasn't been done before. But again, what I'm most excited about is some of the new racing we're supposed to get because we saw last year Dirt 5 came out and shocked us all by delivering a truly great and thrilling game experience. Much more than I said could be said for the previous iterations of the series. Forza Horizon 5 is supposed to, and I love this, Horizon 5 is going to top Dirt 5 in a way that they haven't done before. The graphics are supposed to look great, especially if you have a Series X. It's supposed to be built. It's the very first game we've ever seen that's specifically built to harness the Series X. Um, all the trailers I've seen, I mean, you race in an active volcano, which is gonna be awesome. I didn't know Mexico had those, but apparently it does. And for the first time ever, it's gonna really use the multi-weather landscape feature that was originally introduced for four. I love the multi-weather stuff that went on in Forza Horizon 4. Almost every week you're either playing in autumn, summer, winter, and it makes everything different. Like in winter I'm racing on ice roads and thing and I have to watch it. And it changed the gameplay up somewhat, but frankly most of the time it just felt kind of cheap and tacky to me. It didn't feel that, it just felt annoying more often than not. Horizon 5 is supposed to change that. It's keeping the weather landscapes, however, it's saying that in each season you play, which is basically every week, about every four or five days it reverts in-game, you're supposed to be able to access areas of the map that you couldn't previously. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but that's going to be awesome. And did anybody see that awesome uh, Ethan Hunt style sandstorm you get to outrun in the, in the trailer? That is so sweet. I'm looking forward to that. Again, I'm just happy the Horizon series is continuing because Horizon is truly a testament to everything that makes 
off-road racing great. It's thrilling, just edge of your seat stuff. And I, I can honestly say, let me just put it to you this way. Let me break it down. Horizon is the only series I've ever played where I get into the middle of a race and I start turning my controller like I've got a wheel. But <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but I don't. But I turn it like I do. So I'm looking forward to Horizon 5 more so than Halo Infinite, which I am definitely looking forward to. But I actually think this might be the best game of the year for that reason, because no other game will quite put you in the driver's seat, I believe, like Horizon 5 will. So let me know what you guys think, and I can't wait to see you guys on the track.